Hello, my name is Alexis and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about boob jobs. I wanted to talk about this because I have a lot of friends who ask me, you know, how is it going to feel? Are you going to be in pain? What are your scars, you know, going to look like? And before I actually got this done, I, you know, didn't really have a whole lot of guidance or um, anybody to tell me what their experience was like. So I thought this might be helpful for the person that is looking into this or just curious. So yeah, let's get into it. So first off, I got my boobs done when I was about 20 years old. So it's been about six years now, which is literally forever ago when I think about it. So I feel like I can give you a full on review of how this experience has been. I had never had any sort of surgery or been under anesthesia. So I did not know what to expect going into this at all. I met with my doctor two times, one for a, just a regular pre-op appointment to talk about what I want and then a second time for them to hold uh, my deposit and to also get a 3d scan so you can see what your boobs are gonna look like and you can try out different implants before you actually put them in which is super cool technology I weighed about 115 pounds at the time of my surgery I now weigh 160 just for a reference so I was pretty small and and um, I didn't have a whole lot of body fat or uh, breast tissue to begin with so I ended up opting in for getting the gummy bear I don't know if you guys have heard that term before but it's a silicone cohesive gel and basically it's supposed to give you more of a natural feel and it has more of a teardrop shape to it so it's really good for those that don't have a whole lot of um, boob to begin with like me I think I was I used to say that I was like a B cup, I think, but really I was an A. I was doing the most, trying to make them look bigger, um, including bombshell bras, um, stuffing at one point. I was even taping my boobs at one point, which is crazy to think about. Obviously I was very young at this point, so don't bash me. I grew up never really feeling too comfortable about my body um, or lack thereof body. And I just, you know, I just wanted to feel womanly and, you know, have a great shape to me. And I was just I too big, straight up and down. And so I decided to do it. Um, I saved up over, I think, an eight month period. And the cost of my boob job was right under $10,000. But I also had to make sure that I was able to stay home and pay all my bills and feed myself and take care of all the things that I needed to take care of until I was able to go back to work. And they actually went in right underneath in the crease and the scar is literally barely noticeable. I don't think anybody has ever said anything to me about it before. I never noticed it unless I really like flip my boob up, you know? I also went under the muscle. I need to keep from rippling and I wanted it to look the most natural. I got 355 cc's on one side and I think like 330 something or it's, it was a little bit less just because I was slightly asymmetrical. I got a moderate profile and basically what that means is it doesn't sit really high up um, and it doesn't sit very low either. It's just very um, right in the middle, which I felt like looked like the most natural, but I know that everybody's natural shape is different, so this is just what worked for me, and my doctor uh, thought that I should go with. Going into the surgery, I was pretty nervous, and I honestly don't really remember a whole lot from going in and everything. My mom drove me, and we went into this room, and they stuck an IV in, and they started to give me anxiety medicine just stuff to kind of like make me sleepy and stuff and I just remember them looking at me and being like are you ready to do this and I was like yeah I'm ready to do this I'm trying to get some boobies I'm trying to have boobies and then they wheeled me 
back into the op room. I don't know what I said, but I just remember the light being on me and the doctors looking at me and then they laughed. So maybe I said something funny. Maybe it was just kind of a weird thing. But basically that was my last memory before going into surgery. And uh, I just remember, you know, kind of waking up. Um, I don't really remember much about the post-op room, but I do remember being in the car, my mom driving me back home and just keeping my eyes closed the entire time. And then I remember getting home and I remember, you know, the healing process, but you're on so many drugs that um, I really wouldn't worry about the pain too much. It does feel really heavy, but the medication that they give you, and I, I don't know if this varies, but I ended up getting Percocet. So you're basically sleeping, eating, and just resting the entire time. I did get a lot of swelling, obviously, because I was going from like an A cup to a D, so that's a pretty big change. But I didn't get any stretch marks, and I don't even remember getting very much bruising, but I was taking Arnica leading up to it and during the healing process um, which is a natural supplement that you can take to help with bruising and muscle repair which I absolutely recommend because I, I think that it really just helped my healing process so much I think my mom stayed with me for like the first day and then the next day I was kind of on my own but I just remember waking up the next day and going into the bathroom and you know you have moo moos on because you can't really like have something go over your head or anything it kind of just has to be one of those things that comes in the front and like clasps together or zips together kind of like a grandma style pajama um but i just remember going into the bathroom and opening it up and just looking in the mirror at where they were and it was pretty scary because they just were so high up and they were just so hard and swollen and I still had actually like the ink where they draw on you before they start the surgery so that was kind of weird too and at first it obviously doesn't feel like you because it's not you it's a foreign object in your body but over time it definitely you know you don't really feel the difference it's like your boob I lost a lot of sensitivity especially at first um, kind of like from here down but as the years have gone by I've regained a lot of sensitivity um, there's still some spots that are a little bit more numb but I can feel my nipples I can feel all the way down here it's just mostly like down at the bottom area and it's really weird because you know you've been cut through and your nerves have been severed so um, once you start regaining feeling it'll give you like a pins and needles sensation um, so beware of that also I think this is just a general rule for people that have had boob jobs but um, being in the cold it like actually hurts like I don't know how to explain it but it just it like burns your nipples <laughs> You can't really put any pressure on your chest or like push with your arms or even, I had a really, I don't know if this is common, but I had a really hard time lifting my arm up and I just remember, so I was driving a stick at the time and I was like, okay, you know, I haven't drove anywhere, but I need to go somewhere. And it, it had been like, you know, probably two weeks, maybe three weeks. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'm good to drive now. And so I was trying to drive and I was trying to get onto the freeway. So I was going onto a ramp and it was like looped around and it was raining. And I tried to like switch gears and the car, I couldn't even turn it like the way I needed to because my arm was so limited. And I just crushed the car. Um, it wasn't a crazy crash. I didn't crash into anybody, but I did end up kind of like bumping the car up a little bit and it was kind of scary but yeah when you go underneath the muscle it takes a long time for it to actually repair and I would just suggest keeping it real cool and uh, doing your massages and just waiting until your body's actually ready to do the things that you want to do especially with working out and stuff because um, this is something I don't know if everybody knows this but you know your muscles contract 
when you're working them out and everything so if you go underneath the muscle you're going to have boobs that contract when you do certain things and certain movements um, especially if you're working your chest out or you know pushing or anything like it's you know their chest muscles so it's like right under there so your boobs kind of like separate or kind of do like a weird thing I call it funny boob but I personally don't really feel comfortable um, working out my chest too hard just because um, it just it, like it kind of hurts sometimes like and I remember there's this one time it was right when I uh, started getting back into working out and fitness and everything after the surgery and it was like enough time and everything but I think I just pushed it too far and I did something where I was trying to do a chest press or something and I just remember just feeling like and I was like what the what was that and it just hurt so bad and I was like mm, er, er. I'm not ever doing that again so I really don't be working out chest as much I can do it now a lot more comfortably because it's been many years but before you can pay me to do it <laughs> I also ate a lot of edibles during that time too because I I'm not super into prescription pills um, I don't really feel comfortable taking them very often. I did take them, take them because um, that's what I needed at the time, but I started to wean myself off of that and then I was just eating edibles and I feel like that helped me tremendously um, with dealing with pain. Because I am a woman of color and I tend to scar pretty easily, I was super worried about scarring, but my doctor actually recommended these silicone strips and basically you just set it right onto your scar and it just flattens it out because um, at first it was kind of bubbled up a little bit but it just flattens it out and I swear it just made it go away completely it was amazing yeah so overall I don't regret it I just think that if I would have waited maybe a year or two I probably wouldn't have gotten it done. The thing you don't realize when you're, you know, freshly in your 20s is your body doesn't just go like that and it's just womanly. Like you hit a certain age and then your hips widen a little bit, your body composition kind of rearranges a little bit. And I definitely noticed that as I got a bit older, I started to fill out a little bit better. But I don't regret my boob job at all. I love them, you know, they fit my body, I feel comfortable, I really haven't had any issues with them, so overall I'm super happy still. They have gone through over half of their lifespan. That's another thing that they don't tell you right away or maybe you just don't think of to ask, but you have to get your boobs done around every 10 years or so. It's definitely an investment, so it's something to really think about as far as that goes if you don't wanna do it however many more times over your lifespan. That's why I think people tend to get them when they're a bit older rather than younger because that's less time they have to upkeep it. Another thing is, is that they settle into your body. So at first they're gonna be a bit, you know, high up or hard and not feel like your actual boob. But as it settles in, it will definitely drop down and, you know, give you a more natural look and they they feel more natural so that's good too so if I could give you a couple tips offhand um, that I really think that you should hold with you if you're thinking about getting this procedure done I would say definitely take Arnica make sure you have somebody present with you for the first couple days meal prep so that you don't have to worry about cooking or somebody having to cook for you and trust the process at first they're gonna look crazy they're gonna look kind of you know large and in charge kind of scary but i swear as time goes by it'll get better so yeah i hope that was helpful to you guys if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and i will make sure to get back to you i'm thankful that i was able to give you some information and yeah do that thing if you want to get it done don't listen to anybody don't listen to anybody what they have to say about it if it's what you want to do you should do it because guess what it's your body it's your money, it's your body, it's your investment. And if you wanna invest in yourself and that's how you do it, then I don't see any problem with doing it. So yeah, I hope that was helpful to you guys. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you guys have any video suggestions, please let me know in the comments also. I'll see you in the next one.